Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome back to Sakura Dungeon. Alright guys, so when we laugh le last left off, we were exploring this dungeon and we've got uh, some ways to go here. So, um, our Sari and our cat girl are kind of hurt, um, but I think, I think we can press on a bit. Um, again, if they get really hurt, we can always backtrack to town with our warp stone. Uh, so this was a dead end as I thought it was probably going to be. So let's continue back this way. So now we got, um, oop, we got a battle here. So, uh, let's go ahead and take out the slime girl first. So we will flurry of blows her. She does resist that, I believe. Uh, no, she didn't. Um, she does an impact. We will gust her. Bam. 15. We need, actually, uh, let's see here. Um, I think I'm cat girl. I'm going to do some venom shot. Try to get a paralyze on her. All right. And just kind of make make her ineffectual, ineffectual for this battle. All right. Switch back to slime girl. We will do an... Uh, oh, I might want a guard. Do I want a guard? So then... Maybe I guard now and then I can do a flare blows next turn. And then take less damage. Alright, Bunny Girl will gust on the slime girl. Hit her there. Alright. Oh, she attacks my slime girl, but we highly resisted that. Let's go ahead and Because she resists my thing, I'm gonna go ahead and attack the cat girl with my slime girl with my venom claws. So we're splitting up our attacks here a little bit. See, see how well that works out for us. Let's switch back to her. We're going to do Flurry of Blows. She resisted, but still takes 19 damage, which is not significant. We'll Gust. Right there. Blam. And she's defeated. And all we got to do is... Which one does more damage? Uh, we'll do the Venom Shot. Try to take out Cat Girl. And that is not enough. She guarded, and then we will Claw Slash. And that should finish her off. Alright. Now we need to check our team here. Um, Alright. Boar will switch out for Cat Girl. Slime will switch out for Seri. Because Seri technically has more health. Okay. Uh, let's check our map again. Full map. Yeah, we still got a lot to, lot to explore here. So we'll move down this way. Down this way. Alright, we had a T section. Where do we want to go? I think we'll go. Let's go this way. To the. Um, I'm getting all turned around. Alright, this is probably going to lead to a dead end, so we'll explore this. There is a treasure chest. Frills, ribbons, and straps. Somehow, I have a feeling that I'm not going to like this. Oh, nonsense. This was a famous outfit reserved for dancers during town festivals. It is an honor to wear it. I eye Sari up and down, and I think you would look great in it. But I do not know how to dance at all. The only dance no... The only, bleh, the only dance down here that matter is the dance of battle. And as far as I can see, you're perfectly capable of this dance. Just stop it already. You, do, you don't have to be so embarrassed. I think it looks cute. I remember an old monster talking about these festivals. It sounded like my kind of party. Clothes are not important. I know this very well. <laughs> Sari tries to grab the fabric out of my hand, only for me to slip it out of the way. The cat girl watches the entire time as the cloth dangles in front of her. Okay, so um, I wanna I wanna go back to town just to switch that outfit because those bikinis, strangely, are, oh, this is a dead end. Are strangely bothering me. So hold on, let's check our map here. Um. Okay, we're not that far, so we just got to check this area here. So let's turn around. Back this way, and then we're going to check down this cord. Oh, more combat. Uh, thankfully, I didn't need to switch my team members. Uh, which one's tougher? Cat girl. We will rapid pause her. Hit her for 19. And, uh, you know, I have yet to have any of our characters get really high or really low. Well, we start off really low CP. 
go ahead and call slash. But I've yet to get to the really high CP. Uh, I, I want to see what happens when we do that. We get into like some kind of flow state or something like that. Uh, let's go down. Oh, no, that was overkill. I was not paying attention. But it ripped her clothes off. So, but it's not worth ripping the clothes uh, when they're uh, when it kills them. I will call slash here. Uh, our cat girl is in trouble. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to slash. I don't know why I was thinking of guarding. Our cat girl defi definitely needs to switch here. So let's switch her to slime. Switch party members. Yes. All right. And then we will call slash right here. Uh, board girl just guards. So we've got her on the ropes. That's uh, There it is. Over. It's over. Defeated. All right. So let's move forward. Uh-huh. Is that just a dead end here? All right, just a dead end. Now, because of the way the map is, we want to be sure to check all those little dead ends because then we'll have gaps in our map and it'll make us think that we missed something when we probably didn't. All right. I'm getting a little nervous because we may be... We're, we're getting close to filling the end over here, so... All right, which way? Let's check our map. That'll help me decide which way I want to go. Uh, we will go this way and fill out that there. And then, because this is a whole lot. So, all right, we'll continue. Wait, do we need to? How's our team? Everybody's fine. So, I think we're going to go switch back to uh, switch back to our better team. Oh, no, Cat Girl's hurt. All right, we'll switch her for the boar. And there we go. More combat. Hey, Spear Girl. Uh, we can't capture her yet, so we'll just uh, keep on loading. Oh, I forgot she's got that parry. I still haven't noticed what that does. Um, it hasn't been apparent. Whatever it is, it hasn't been very apparent. We got to paralyze on her, so she's not feeling well, and we're just gonna make short work of her. Rip clothes and defeat it. All right. And just, oops, got to get closer. All right, we'll open that. More money. All right. I think once we find the key, we're probably going to have to go through a big battle to get the key. So we want to make sure our team is, how's our team? We're decent right now. We def we have a for sure battle there. What's over here? Hmm. Let's check the map. Always check the map. Ah. Hmm. Well, since we're pretty fresh right now, let's go ahead and just do this battle now. Since we're kind of healthy. Oh, they got the initiative. Got an impact on me. Okay, let's flurry of blows the slime. Uh, she resisted, but still does good damage. I got a call slash on me. We will triple slash. We did say it works on her, right? So let's do it. She resisted, but still took significant damage. Uh, let's switch to the cat and do some Venom Claws. And that'll really mess her up. She's got paralyzed there. Uh, Siri gets hit. We get a claw slash at us here. So let's uh, switch back to Slime Girl, because now we want to just finish her off. Flurry of Blows, resist it. And we'll single slash for the kill there. All right, so she's done. Rip close. And now we just got uh, the hurt cat girl to finish off. And we'll go ahead and venom claws her for sure. And she's gonna go ahead and rapid claws. That's fine. Uh, oh, our board girl just simply has to guard. And then Siri, is this the end? That takes her out. Just barely. Okay. All right. So let's check our map here because it looks like maybe this leads around to. All right, we're going to go back and check this area here. So let's turn around here. And this will probably be a dead end or it leads or it connects up. Okay. Uh, who do we want? Oh, we'll take out Cat Girl. So Flurry of Blows. I think I need to be careful because I think the APs actually carry over uh, after battle. Like they don't, they don't reset. So we need to not use heavy attacks like at the end like as we, we don't want to be doing overkill basically so let's go ahead and venom claws right now 
And that really hurts her up. So we definitely do need to be paying more attention to our APs. So right here, like, so for instance, right here, we don't want to do a triple slash when a single slash will do. There we go. Takes her out there. All right. Defeated. And now she flurries a blow my slime girl. I didn't resist it. I don't know. Didn't look like it. All right. Here we will triple slash. Uh, we will flurry blows here. And then now, uh, she's got a. Our slime girl has to guard. Oh, but she resists. And here we'll just do an impact rather than using our higher cost attacks. And we take out the board girl. Okay, she goes down. All right. Uh, I. How's our team? Uh, slime girl, you can switch out for cat. And that's it. That's good. All right. Push forward here. And another spear girl we can't capture just yet. So let's Let's do the rapid close and see if there's a parry and try to notice what it does. There's a parry. It blocked the damage. Did it block the damage? Is that what it did? Okay. Let's go to triple slashes. Parry. Alright, that blocks the damage. Interesting. Flurry of blows. That that gets through. Okay, so she can parry. That's actually kind of cool. But can you parry a dust blast? Let's see. Probably not. All right. Boom. Only hits for 11, but then she does her tornado slashes. Uh, that does a pretty good amount of damage. We'll single slash. That gets through. And we'll do an impact here. Hopefully that finishes off. Yes, we got a critical. All right. And she's defeated. All right. All right, our team is still... Oh, no, Siri's kind of not that great. Let's switch her out for Bunny. Give her a chance to heal up. And all right, so as we thought, this just connects back up, as we can see over here. So let's move over here. Ooh, there's a door. Do we want to open that door or check over here? No, nah, I think we'll open the door. We'll open the door. Ooh, another locked door. But where is the keyhole? Looking at the door up and down, Siri can't seem to find one. Maybe it's locked from the other side. I don't think so. I run my finger along its surface, noticing a few shimmering sparks following my finger. Ah, it's sealed by a magical spell. Damn it, I do not understand anything about magic. So what can we do about this then? Since the spell is sustained by the dungeon's mana, we can't simply undo it. If I were to guess, there is some sort of password or special phrase which will dispel it. Someone had to cast this spell. So, we just find the sorceress and get the spell from her. Sounds straightforward. It may not be. You never know. Yes, but I prefer to be optimistic. Okay, so we can't go through there. It is locked. All right, so let's, uh, we don't need the map because we know we're going over. There's another door there. What's down this way? We'll check these. Crack these open. Found a warp stone. Uh, move forward. Crack that. And let's just make sure we complete the dungeon. Oh, there's two doors. Hold on a second. So this is what we opened before. All right, so we can unlock that. You can unlock that. You unlock the door. All right, but we don't need to go through there. So now, whoops, let's go back to our map. So now this is the last room over here. And we are feeling good right now. So let's move forward. I knew there was going to be a fight. That's why I didn't switch my team up. So let's, hmm, well, I guess we'll go with the flare blows. Hope it gets through. It did. Uh, we'll do a dust blast. That's, that'll for sure get through. I think, anyway. Uh, she single slashes my boar. That's fine. Attack the boar. We will gust with our bunny. That gets through. Only does 12 damage, but it's pretty good. We will impact here. Oh, not quite. She single slashes my boar. That's fine. I don't mind the boar taking damage. And this dust blast should finish her off. There we go. All right. So let's move forward here. And before we go in, first... Let's fix our team here. So, Siri's going to go here. Uh, we'll go Slime next and then Cat. And they're all perfect. And actually, just in case, I'm going to use a healing potion on Boar in case we need to bring her into the fight. So, everybody is 
full and with that we're going to save our game here and because I'm expecting a boss battle with whatever sorceress locked up that place so let's click the door an ominous looking door looms in front of us I can feel magic pulsing from the other side I believe we found our sorceress but judging from the magic radi radiating from this room she is quite strong we've well we've been doing okay so far maybe we can do it maybe let me in there I will beat her senseless magic and I do not get along the hair on the back of my neck is standing up we really should be careful I'm just making weird noises I don't know what those voices are I'm sorry Siri seems to be thinking to herself so perhaps we should take our time before we enter that would be wise we're going to have to beat her quite thoroughly if we're going to make her tell us a spell so either collect more power or go in no need to rush a decision we have all the time in the world well we're gonna push through as we open the door it creaks loudly so much for a surprise attack let's see who's waiting for us sitting at a desk our witch has her face buried in a book after a minute or so she notices us what are you doing here unless you have something important to report return to your patrols she lets out a huff seriously i cannot even do my research in peace I am afraid that we aren't here to report anything. In fact, no one will be reporting to you after this. Tell us which spell you have cast on that door, witch. We desire to go down to the lower levels. Right, right, intruders, I'd better do something about this. She pulls out another tome then. As she opens it, a small flash of light radiates from its insides. Of course, you had to waste my time with a pointless battle. I'm going to make sure that my attacks aren't lethal. You need to be taught a painful lesson. See if you can do that, witch. My subordinates are far from pushovers. Although she looks uncertain, the bunny takes a stand. I, I guess I'm not a pushover. Someone in particular puffs up her cheeks in response to my statement. Damn right I'm not. Even if I am facing magic, I will not give up. Oh, that's right. She might be vulnerable. My cat begins to show off her claws. Let's see if you can cast anything once this cat has your tongue. You're all very confident, I see. Perhaps you need a lesson in humility. All right, all right. She does a gust on us. That's not, oh, I was gonna say that's not too scary, but that did 17 damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and, she's at level 11. Holy crap. All right, triple slashes. That levels us up, which is nice. Uh, we will, hmm, she's probably resistant to magic. So let's go ahead and cl rapid claws. See how that does. Uh, that mystic, a crystal spike, did 28 damage. That's that's rough. All right, we will venom claws. Let's go for the venom claws. All right, 16 damage. We didn't get any extra effects. She does an ice flash that almost takes out. Oh my god, that almost took out Sari. It did rip her clothes, so we got to be careful. Um, will Sari get to go again? Yeah, Sari will get to go again before she does. So, so we'll switch on Sari's turn. So let's rapid claws. Maybe we, let's try the dust blast and see how. Now nah, it does so little damage. Let's rapid claws. All right, that only hits for eleven. Holy crap! Uh, we might not be ready for this. Let's uh, go to our tactics here, and we'll bring in the boar, which isn't too great. Oh man, we might not be ready for this. All right, let's. Do we want to try the venom shot? Let's try the venom shot. See if we can get a paralyze or something on her. We didn't. She guards though because she was low on. Uh, do we want to guard here? Maybe I'll guard so then I can do flurry of blows after. We'll guard. She does a gust on my slime girl. Slime girl may need to guard also. Let's uh, rapid claws. She levels up. Which is awesome. All right, 13 damage. All right, we, we're doing kind of good here. I might, I think I'm gonna guard with my slime because she's probably gonna target her. Probably. Oh no, she targeted the boar. Uh, all right, flurry of blows. Yeah. Oh no, she healed a little bit. All right. Uh, dust blast for the win. 
She resists it, but it is not enough. And our board leveled up. Okay. And <laughs> is a compromising position. The defeated witch lies there, looking indignant. Her robes are in tatters, revealing certain things. I cannot say that I find her uneasy to look at. Wow. <laughs> Damn. You're much stronger than I was expecting. She tries to turn onto her back with great effort. So, are you ready to tell me what the spell is? She just stares back at me defiantly. If I give you the spell, this will fall back on me. I'm sure news of your defeat would pass through this dungeon anyway. Your best bet would be to leave right away. The dungeon lord wouldn't let me leave, so I refuse to give up the spell. I suppose we will have to take you above ground then. Believe me, I know many ways to get you to tell me what I need to know. I lean over and begin to trail my finger down the middle of her chest going down to her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want me to have to do that, would you? <laughs> she seems a little less defiant than she was before. If you decide to help us, I can promise your safety. We have means of escaping back to the surface. From there, you can go wherever you please. So help us, and we'll help you. Does that sound like a fair deal? Although she seems reluctant to accept it, I'm getting through to her. Well, I have already lost. Neither do... Neither do I know who you are or why you're here, so my situation can't get much worse than it already is. She lets out a heavy sigh. Very well. I'll share the spell with you. Come closer. Leaning over, she whispers the words into my ear. Sari just looks on, slightly curious, but also not wanting to eavesdrop. There, you have the spell now. Do whatever you wish. Don't worry. I place a warp stone into her hand. A warp stone? But... Back to the surface you go, you'll be safe from there, from here, from there. Nah. You've acquired the lock spell. Okay, uh, let's chew, gosh. All right, uh, boar is going to switch out for bunny. Slime is just going to have to stay in for now. Uh, let's check. Oh, no. Let's grab these last few things and then try to get out of here. We're going to, we're, we're heading back to the surface. You found a whirlwind scroll. I don't care what that is. We'll check it in a second. Ah, screw it. Let's check it now. Items. It's probably a move. Teaches the whirlwind skill. Let's sort everything here. All right. I think it should sort. It should sort things by default, but it doesn't. All right. Uh, we think we have one more. Nope. All right. Nothing else to check here, and our map is full. Right. In this part. All we gotta do is. Wait a minute. All right, we gotta unlock this. But right now, we let's go to our consumables. Let's use our warp stone to get back to the surface because we are hurt. Okay, let's talk to Isabella. Now, I am certain you remember this, Isabella. It's the dancer's dress. We have not had many festivals in your absence, Yomi. But who would you have wear this dress? Who else? I'm not dancing in any festival, especially now with that dress. You know, it is a great honor to be selected as the town's dancer, Sari. You wouldn't want to disappoint everyone, would you? It's then that Sari notices that everyone in the inn is looking at her. Fine. Uh, she switches up. We now have our town dancer. Uh, that's a little bit better than the bikini, though. You should be proud, Sari. How can we... How can I be proud wearing this? The straps on her chest wobble dangerously with every step she takes. How is this outfit supposed to be practical for, practical for dancing? Well, it's not. That's why only the most skilled dancers are chosen to wear it. Because you must dance, yet keep the straps in place. <laughs> but, but I can't do that. I'm sure you will work it out. Okay, oh my god. Alright, let's... Do we need to check party status? Not really. Uh... All right. Oh, we, we didn't. We don't have the witch captured. Uh, all right. Let's go back to change outfits because we're. I don't like these. All right. She's going back to her kimono. Oh yeah, yeah. Sari is. Uh, the dancing costume is mildly better, but that, that that that's terrible. We're gonna go back to the armor. I like the armor. Ah, that's cool. And then that's it. I think they're the only two characters that that change it. Let's walk around town. 
Ooh, we can look for treasure. Let's look for treasure. I have some old caches of treasure hidden away throughout the landscape. Presuming that the dungeon lord hasn't set up sentries to guard them, it might be a good idea to go on a raid. I know that Seri would certainly be up for treasure finding. Hello, Seri. Nice to see you, Yomi. Is it time to go back already? No, no, we aren't going in the dungeon today. Then where are go where are we going? Somewhere else. It's a rather vague way to put it. Come on, you will like it, I promise. Eh, why not then? After walking out of town, Seri still seems confused. Why are we here? There's nothing out in these meadows. Oh, but there is. Let's see if it's still here. I kneel in the grass, looking around for it. What are you looking for exactly? Well, just the entrance. Entrance to where? It's then that I see a small stone among the blades of grass. Aha! Isn't that just a rock? Look more closely. The etched symbols on its surface begin to glow. With a rumbling, the earth begin beneath us begins to shake. What's happening? Eventually, a stairway emerges from the ground. I had a habit of storing treasure in secret rooms across the landscape, just in case. Treasure, you say? Yes. Why you don't? Why don't you head down and see for yourself? Absolutely. Oh, cool. Ah, the enchantments I placed here are still working. Now, what did I put in here again? That doesn't matter. What? Someone's here? Absolutely! <laughs> the dungeon lord made it clear that the secret treasure rooms had to be guarded. I swear, is there anything this dungeon lord hasn't obsessively protect protected? Even I didn't put guards in every secret room. It's just a cat, Yomi. Can't we just knock around and take the treasure? Not exactly. She she's actually fairly strong. I was taking a cat nap, so I'll just give you one warning. Leave now or I will scratch you into submission. Uh, fighter. She's a level 9. Okay. I think we can take her. Let's go ahead and wrap her claws her. Okay. Uh, claw slashes. Yeah, we can take her. We should be able to. Ooh, Venom claws here. Ooh, slime girl leveled up. Alright. This was unexpected. I thought I was going to end the episode. Uh, sh is she healing? I thought we were going to just end the episode once we changed our outfits, but apparently not. We still got a few more minutes. I'm trying to keep the episodes at 30 minutes or less. Let's go ahead and Venom shot her. And that takes her out. All right. Defeated. You found 15 mana shards. Oh, look at that picture. All right. Utterly defeated, the cat girl just looks up at us. She looks kind of embarrassed. Oh, I've lost. And my clothes are all ruined. The dungeon lord is going to be so mad at me. I won't even get a head pat now. Especially not a new set of clothes. She sheepishly looks down at herself. I can't help but let my eyes wander down there too. It is quite a delightful treat for the eyes. Oh, come wow. You mean the dungeon lord does not give you new clothes? No. She looks down at herself. It's cold in here. Are you trying to make me feel guilty? Well, if you just give up and leave, I'll have successfully defended the treasure and the dungeon overseers won't be mean to me. So, uh, will you give up then? This is my treasure room, so no. Oh, she actually looks pretty upset. What am I going to do now? I want new clothes. I actually feel pretty guilty about this. I don't think we should... Don't you think we should do something to help her, Yomi? Well, there's nothing keeping her here, and if she wants a fresh change of clothes, we can arrange something with Isabella, so I do not think this will be a problem. Please, let's do something like that for her, and maybe send her far away from this dungeon. I don't think the dungeon lord's going to be nice to her if they found out about this. The cat girl nods her head fiercely. The dungeon lord is very mean, especially to weaker monsters. We're bullied constantly by all of the overseers. She looks very sad now. I was going to get a promotion if I successfully defended the treasure, but now I'm I'm going to be put on the lower levels now now it's going to be okay what exactly is keeping you from leaving well, well I don't have anywhere to go so I just have to make do of what I have I guess that's a misspelling there uh, do you know oh, do you know about the town on the surface Yes, it's why most monster girls can't leave the dungeon. Well, why not go there? Tell them that Yomi sent you. Mm, well, I'll try you can have the treasure there, I guess she gets up and leaves the room, leaving us with the loot. Sari quickly opens the chest. It's empty. Oh, right. I never put any <laughs> I never put anything in this room. Are you serious? Is that all that was? 
<laughs> all right well guys we're gonna go ahead and save our game right there and that'll be it for this episode guys if you're watching and following the series i really appreciate it man it means a lot uh thanks for watching and if you like this video as always give me a like subscribe if you want to see more and until next time i'll see you soon